everyone today we're going to be installing the on-screen control application on our laptop so that we can use it as a desktop so to start head over to lg.com and once you are there click on support and then under downloads click on software and firmware you're going to need your monitor's model number so enter your monitor's model number here mine is 34um68-p scroll down and we're going to install the relevant application so i'm running windows and i'm installing the windows version of the application once the installation is complete click on allow double click on the executable file click on yes and then follow the installation wizard click on next and then accept the terms and conditions click on next and next and once that installation process has finished you will need to reboot your PC for changes to take effect. Once you're rebooted, open the application. As you can see, there's nothing connected, so you need to connect your laptop to your monitor using a HDMI cable. Once you are done, you may or may not see a different error message depending on, on your display settings. So right click on your desktop, go to display settings, scroll down, further down and under multiple displays click on the drop down and select extend these displays click on yes keep the changes and then also go to advanced display settings under the drop down select display 2 so this is going to be your lg monitor and then also display adapter properties for display 2 once you're there go to monitor click on properties and go to the drivers tab and update driver this just ensures that you have the latest drivers for your monitor close everything off exit now let's relaunch the application and hopefully everything should work since we selected extend these displays in our display settings in windows our laptop and the monitor is now essentially a single screen. What that means is that you can now drag windows between your laptop and the monitor and vice versa. If you continue to experience problems, there's a few things that you can check. Here's a checklist for you to go through and hopefully one of these will resolve your issue. I want to thank everyone for watching. I wish you a safe and a good day. Bye bye.